Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to run functional tests on API using Chai HTTP and this is the fourth version of this. Um, we set this up on REPL.IT. Um, we've got that set up here. If you haven't seen that one, go to the first video. This exercise is similar to the preceding, so we want to look at the details. We want to replace our assert.fail to make the tests pass. We want to check for status, we want to check for type, and we want to check for body.name and body.surname. Um, so yeah, once again, um, we're over here. I just recently uh, completed this part, and so now what we want to do is go on to the next one. If we look at our errors, this will direct us where to go. So we've got tests, which is this folder, um, two underscore functional tests.js, underscore functional tests.js, right there. And we're on line 144 is our error. So here we have line 144. And so um, repetition is the mother of learning. Try it again, this time without help. Um, cool. So let's see if we can do this without help. Um, so I, ah, shoot, what do you do first? I think you go do chai dot, um, uh, well, we want to make a put request, I think. Yeah, we want to do the same thing. So chai dot, I can't remember, come on. Chai dot request the server, and then we make a serve. Yeah, chai dot request, and then we go to our server, which means the application, and then we want to uh, chain. The next thing would be to make a put request. Um, and I think, oh, I can't remember. Put, okay, yeah, you add the path. So that's going to be um, forward slash uh, travelers. Travelers. Um, so yeah, they don't actually have the instructions here, so that makes it kind of hard. Try it again without help. So we make our put request to travelers. Um, pfft, can't remember. Put, okay, send, and then on the end is when we do it. So we go put the travelers, we do send, and then we've got end. And then when our end, we're going to do a function with our error or our response. And... Um, Within here, we want to go our assert stuff. So I'm just pasting that into here. Um, cool. After Remove this after adding the tests. So we want to remove this because, well, I don't even want to, let's just make it better. So assert.equal. Um, and what do we want to check? First, we want to assert uh, the response dot um, status. And the status, uh, 200 is the HTTP status for success. Um, we want to assert dot equal um, our res dot type, right? And that's going to be uh, application forward slash JSON. I think that's correct. I'm just gonna keep going for now, assert.equal. What else, we wanna get our response. And so I, here, I wanna just talk about this a little bit. Um, let's quit this server, com uh, control C, and I'm just gonna go node. Um, our response is a JSON object. So we're gonna get this. If our server works correctly, we're gonna get it like that. Um, and so our response object has a dot .type in it. And that type is going to be equal to application forward slash JSON if it's working properly. So then we have our response object. Now our response object also has a body in it. And our response body is going to be equal to this, is going to be equal to an object. So our response body is the actual JSON object being passed back to us. So res.body.surname dot surname is going to be equal to uh, da ver as ano. Okay, so now what we're doing, now you can see that this is kind of the func the shape of uh, an API request. This is how the HTTP sends JSON across itself. So now uh, we can see if we go res.body.surname, that gets us this da ver So what we want to do, we want to assert that it is equal that um, the uh, what do we want to send? In here, we want to send a, an object with surname equal to da. Try it again, repetition. Okay. Um, I think it wants to be Vraz. Oh, no. And then 
So once we make the put request, it's going to come back saying uh, you successfully done that, and it's going to send us our information back. So we want to say our res dot um, body dot surname is equal to um, the string of da vera zano. Da vera zano. Where are they coming up with this? And these all should have semicolons at the end because punctuation is important. Now I'm not sure if I got this right. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this server. There's two ways you can do this. One, you can say, come back over to your terminal and press control C to stop your server. And then you can go NPM start. That's how you would do it if you were developing on with local tools. Uh, it starts the server and then it runs our tests. It looks like, looks like we got this right. Cool. Um, and so, yeah, it's up. Um, cool. So now if we were to copy this URL, uh, man, that's crazy. I got it all right without making a mistake. It's almost never happens to me. Um, I've completed the challenge. Cool. Looks like we didn't quite get it. It should res.type to be application JSON. Well, let's see if I made a mistake. Application JSON. Res.type application JSON. The result res.body.name should be Giovanni. Res.surname to be Daverzano. Colombo da Verzano. Um, weird. I'm going to rerun this. That doesn't make sense because, yeah, let's, I'm just going to click run now. I did NPM start the other way. Oh, I was saying that there was multiple ways to do this. The other way is you can just click the run button. Now, I'm guessing that something happened. My tests are passing here. Um, so maybe what we need to do is that. So I'm just going to copy this URL. No, I don't need to do that. It's already here. This is the same thing. And so now I'm just going to say I've completed the challenge. And it still says we've got it wrong. Okay, so that's, this time our type is correct. So res.body.name should be Giovanni. Um, so maybe we need to make a put request there. Um, so if we were to send our surname uh, here, we could also send our uh, name here and make it Giovanni. I'm going to actually paste it in here because I always make typos. So Da Verzano and Giovanni. So let's stop our server and because uh, we got this application here. And I don't know if we should assert equal this as well. So let's just do that. Uh, instead of surname, it's, it's going to be this one, but we're going to make it, oh, Giovanni. Gio, Giovanni. And instead of surname, we want to assert the test that the name is that. Um, cool. So now let's rerun our server and see what happens. OK, so the server, we uh, went NPM start. We ran the server. It looks like we're passing everything. Uh, we still have another lesson. Uh, our next failure line is on zombie document JS and it's line 746. That's probably uh, related to a different uh, lesson. And so if we come back over here, I mean, all these tests should pass now. So let's just rerun our free, these guys. Looks like we still, res.body.name should to be Giovanni. Res.body.surname to be uh, Verrazano. Name, res.body.surname. Hmm. I'm going to console.log our res and stop this and rerun it. But instead of just having a res, I'm gonna also add this little string just to indicate, make it easier to spot. And let's rerun it. I've never done this with a testing framework before, so I'm not even sure if it's gonna work. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, cool, did you see that big object in here? So here's our big object, this is our result. Our result's coming through as a Big object, and I just saw body, body, Giovanni de Verzano. Dudes. Surname. Oh, cool. Okay. So here's what's happening. The text. Hmm, maybe not. Res.body.surname. Well, here's our result. So this is the result object. So you can have a look at this just to show you how much stuff actually gets passed around. 
Um, oh, you know what? This executed a ton of times because it ran a bunch of tests. So let's see if we can just find where it was at the top. I'm just looking at this side of here to try to find out where that thing ends. Okay. Yeah, look at all this information that's passed with each HTTP request. Isn't this crazy? This is all just one big JavaScript object notation object. So here's our response. It's got all of this stuff in here, the readable state. You could ask multi-await drain. Like this is the kind of stuff that I'm not even, you can always look through these and just kind of find interesting ways of solving problems. Um, yeah, it's got this, this guy. The status code, this was our status code. So, I mean, maybe I need to make this status code, but that's not the problem. Our th the thing that's not passing is res.body.name is not coming out properly. So what happens if we go res.body.name? Let's see what happens. Let's see what we're seeing within here. So I'm gonna stop this guy and rerun the tests. Um, now we're running the test. So we did npm start to start the server. We ran the test and then it looks like, oh, weird. Where's res.body.name? You see our surname. Okay, so res.body.name is coming back as Giovanni. Res.body.name, Giovanni. Res.body.surname, Ranzo. Hmm. Well, I don't, let's, okay, so let's see if that, for some reason, we didn't change anything, that shouldn't work. So my guess is that these guys are switched. I've got name on the bottom. Maybe free code camp testing framework requires that we have it in the proper order. So if I go like that, and then let's stop it and rerun it. That's an important part here because otherwise the server would keep running our old code. So each time you make a change to here, you've got to restart it. So we stopped the server and then we did NPM start. And um, it looks like our tests are still passing in here. Um, I actually want to get rid of this because you don't want console logs in your code after you're done. And my guess is it's going to work now. Even though I had a console log in there, I don't think that's going to cause these tests not to pass. So now that we've restarted the server with our code in it, we can say we've completed the challenge. Awesome, so it was the order. Now, obviously, I mean, not obviously, this doesn't actually, these being out of order wouldn't matter in a real application because they're not gonna test the order in which you're testing. So this is just a nuance of free code camp. But figuring these things out is part of web development. So I still think it's useful. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.